In this video, we'll cover how to set the microscope for viewing thin sections under plain polarized light, cross polarized light, and with an accessory plate. For plain polarized light, or PPL, turn the light source on and turn the diaphragm ring so it's completely open. The bottom polarizer is set to 0, 0 and the condenser lens is out. Place a thin section on the stage above the hole beneath the 4 times objective. The accessory plate should be pulled out while the analyzer is pushed in and the dial set to 0, 0. The Bertrand lens dial should also be set to 0. Now, focus on a mineral until it's sharp. You should see mostly transparent minerals with a few green, brown, or black minerals. When the stage is turned, some of the minerals may change color every 90 degrees or quarter turn. This is known as pleochroism. Now, for cross-polarized light, or XPL, pull out the analyzer until it clicks. You should see minerals with interference colors of light to dark gray, or some may show colors but not very intense. You'll compare these to the Michel Levy chart, which we will cover in class. When the stage is turned, minerals may change interference color depending on the mineral type. For some types of analysis, you will use the accessory plate. When pushed in fully, you'll see some very vibrant colors. Again, when the stage is turned, the minerals may change color. We'll discuss why this is happening in class. Now that you're familiar with PPL and XPL, we will review how to determine if an anisotropic mineral is uniaxial or biaxial. This is done by obtaining its interference figure. Start in PPL with 4 times magnification. Find a good example of the mineral you want to identify, with no cracks, bubbles, alterations, dirt, etc. And center this mineral in your field of view. Check in XPL by inserting the analyzer if the mineral has a low interference color. Lower the stage a bit so as not to damage the thin section or objective lens while switching objectives and switch from the 4 times to 40 times magnification. Only use the wheel when changing the objective. Lever the condenser lens into place and refocus the selected mineral by using the fine focus with the inner dial only. When focused, check if the mineral is still in the center and stays in the center when the stage is turned 360 degrees. If not, ask instructor, a TA, or the lab technician for help centering the objective. When focused and in center, add the Bertrand lens by turning the dial from 0 to B. As you are already in XPL setting, you may need to adjust the diaphragm, the light intensity, at the bottom. If all worked well, the isogyres will form either a black cross or one or two bold lines in the field of view. This is your interference figure. Turn the stage to see if the isogyres stay as one connected cross or if the bowed lines move apart and around the field of view. Uniaxial minerals will show a connected cross while biaxial minerals show bowed isogyres which will move apart as the stage is rotated. Note that biaxial minerals with a very low 2V angle may simulate a cross as the bowed isogyres barely separate. To find the optic sign of interference, rotate the stage so that you can see the upper right quadrant of the cross or the bowed isogyre straddling the upper right quadrant. Add the accessory plate and check the quadrant for color. If the upper right and lower left quadrants are turquoise, the mineral has a positive optic sign. If the same quadrants are yellow, the optic sign is negative. 